G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a smelt. I'm going to be smelting some, some of the fine gold that I've collected uh, that was sent to me by you guys and uh, I appreciate it. Appreciate you sending me gold and rocks and stuff. Anyway, I'll just, hopefully, I'm in the shed at the moment so hopefully I can show you the gold. That's it in there. There is a bit of, um, there's some contaminants, a bit of sand and quartz and that mixed in, but that's all right. I'm going to mix it with some borax and, um, yeah, and smelt it that way and um, melt it into a button. Yeah. So what I'll do first up, guys, we'll weigh it. We'll weigh this material with the sand and everything in it and see what it weighs. Then we'll weigh the button at the end. Yeah. Okay. Stay with me. Hey guys, just before I do the smelt, I've got a couple of rocks here. A couple of pieces of quartz, that um, chain from the uh, Golden Triangle, Victoria. Yeah, Jane sent, uh, Shane sent me these two rocks and he thinks that there's gold in them. So I'm just going to quickly crush them and then pan them out and see if there is gold in them. Um, all I can see is mica. I can see a lot of mica. I'll just give you a close-up. That's one of the pieces of rock. Yeah, there's a lot of mica in there, so... That's the other piece. Yeah, you can't see anything in that, in that. Just a little bit of mica in both of them. But he, um... Shane got these rocks from a gold mine from the waste dump uh, in the golden golden triangle. So yeah, I'll crush them up. I'll get back to you this when I'm panning. We'll quickly, quickly pan it out. And if there's gold in it, I can add it to the rest of the gold that I'm going to smelt. Okay, the rock's crushed. I'll just quickly pan it out and we'll just see, see if there's any gold in this one material this um this couple of rocks that that um shane sent me from the golden triangle in victoria australia and you notice it's a bit red that's because there was a bit of red uh, material in the crusher so hopefully there's no gold in there from the crusher that's that's the only thing this um this red oxide that was in the crusher yeah has came it's come out with this crushed material so that's the only thing um there was no bigger pieces of of um material in there that came out there's just this dust the red dust from the the last lot of rock that i crushed which was a a red oxide material Not the pink parrot material, but this was a, another material. And from memory, I don't think it had gold in it. So we should be safe. Should be safe with this sample. Might be in that, I think it was microscopic gold that was in that, in that oxide material. Okay. Rightio, let's have a look. Let's see if Shane's, Shane's rocks rock. There's a lot of fine material there. Looks like um, some fine sulphides. Could be gold there. Could be some fine gold. That's a microscope job again, guys. So, um, anyway... I'll dry it all out and we'll have a look and then we'll get into the smelting.
Okay guys, the big weigh-in. Let's see what this material weighs before I smelt it. Okay. 5.76 grams. Cool. Okay guys. 5.76 grams of gold and other material so that goes into the crucible there it all is with a bit of luck I'll end up with a, a 5 gram button wouldn't that be nice now I'm going to add a bit of borax to the smelt and what this borax does, it'll um, it'll separate all the contaminants from the gold. So I'll end up with a, a gold button in the middle, and all the slag will be on the outside and around and around the the gold button. All the gold will, when it when it melts, it'll get all pulled together into a button, and all the sand and contaminants it all get drawn into the slag. That's the plan anyway. Okay, we'll fire up the the furnace and we'll put the crucible in the in the furnace and start melting. Okay, we are smelting guys, we are smelting. Okay, I can see a nice bead, Oop. I can see a nice bead in the crucible, let's see if the zoom is in, I don't know if you can see it in there, it's a bit dark, but there's a nice bead inside there, I'm just going to wait for it to cool a bit and then I'll pluck it out with the tweezers. There it is guys, it doesn't look real bright yellow. I'm going to put this into an acid bath, see how all that slag stuck to it. I'm going to put this into some hydrochloric acid and then um, heat it up and it'll take all this, all this slag off the button. Yeah. But that's it basically. There we are guys, there's the button. It doesn't look real bright gold. It might have um, it might have silver in it. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to re-smelt it and put some more borax on it and try and clean it up a bit better. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll put it on the scales and see what it weighs. Okay guys, let's see what it weighs. 3.82 grams 3.80 grams cool well guys how cool was that 3.8 grams I was actually hoping for more I thought it'd be up around above 4 grams at least anyway yeah there was a lot of sand and uh, impurities obviously in 
in the mix. So anyway, what I might do is I'll wait until I get a bit more. If I collect up a bit more gold, I'll I'll um, do another smelt. I'll actually add if I get some clean gold, I'll add it to that button, and I'll um, I'll try and clean it up a bit more because it should be um, a really bright gold, golden colour. It's it, I have seen videos before where they make a button and it's got that frosty look about it and then they remelt it and they sprinkle some borax over the top and it just sparks it up a bit brightens it up so it could be just that all i need to do anyway um i've got the two magnets here now one of these magnets is going to i've got the names written down here so i don't forget gavin gavin's got one magnet these magnets and the other one is going to uh, Tam. Uh, Tam's um, channel name is Fuzzy Balls. So go and check out Tam's channel, Fuzzy Balls. Yeah. Also, I want to give a shout out to um, this guy. And I've only just found his channel lately. His name's Tian. And Tian is from Vietnam. And um, he goes out into the rivers uh, where he lives. He, he uh, prospects the river. And all his tools are handmade. He's made a sluice out of, out of timber. Uh, he's made another, uh, like a little cradle box that he um, separates the sand and the gold in this little V-shaped cradle box. It's all handmade stuff. Um, really cool videos, yeah. And he, he gets some, he gets some good, really good gold over there in Vietnam, yeah. So check out um, Tian's uh, channel. It's, it's called Tian Gold, and I'll put his link up here. Yeah, just give Tian a bit of a plug and uh, hopefully get some more subscribers and, and views on his channel. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good top bloke. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say, guys? I think that's about it, yeah. I've got the gold button now. I've got some gold, but I'm not going to sell it yet. I might wait until it goes up goes up to about five grand yeah then i might sell it uh, yeah that, um that's about it guys thanks for watching cheers i'm on the wagon i don't drink much beer anyway i'll just have the odd can here and there I'm, I'm not a big drinker used to be when i was young and silly but um yeah i'm old and wise now okay guys thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing and watching my videos. Cheers. Take care out there. Be good. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.